Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more John Mayan versus the Ottomans, or Ottomans versus John Mayan, however you want to call it. We're converting things pretty well, We're looking pretty solid. The Dimi are still disloyal, I am aware. We're going to do hold off on taking that tech until after we take our cores. I don't think we need all of these ships here. Let's go ahead and split half there, half here. These sieges going. Just lost our trader. Instead, we'll hire a spy offense guy, apparently. This war is taking far too long. Nice breached wall, though. Thank you for that. That'll speed things up tremendously. As the Ottomans were allowed to have 1248 points, so we're not actually that close to the cap just yet. Byzantine separatists as well are now getting up there. In Athens. Athens is grasslands. Uh, you know what? I wonder if maybe converting Athens is a bad idea. Let's convert something else. Let's go for, like, Edirne. Those are going to be particularists. Good. Breached walls on both coastal forts. Very, very helpful. That's some good luck right there to roll natural 14s. Just trying to figure out, do you get four bonus from a breached wall or three? Because a breached walls, wow, we breached it twice. Plus three siege status to the roll, but also I th thought that the breached wall, we have nine plus one is ten. Minus four is six, plus two is eight, eight plus three would be an eleven, and an eleven roll should be a supply shortage. Yeah. I think you actually get plus four bonus from Siege. It's crazy. Francis declared war on Brittany. I want to attack John Mayan. Our manpower is actually coming up. <laughs> That's awesome. We're at our force limit. We've got quite a few mercs. Zack has declared independence from the Oirat, or Uzbek, or somebody. The Uzbek are willing to become an ally, it looks like, possibly. I'm assuming that they hate the Timurids. They actually don't. Ming does, though. Hey, Ming, do you want to be friends? I'll try. Even being able to, like, be friendly with them is kind of silly, because we got the Terra, In Terra Incognita off. We shouldn't even know about these countries, but... Whatever. It's just a fun little campaign. It's nothing major. Nothing crazy. That puts us at 99 war score, but we need to build a separate piece of the Mamluks. I've already decided I'm willing to pay the points. 82 war score is not quite enough. We'll need to finish that siege. So let's pull one guy off. Pull over our siege leader. Uh, we actually did gain a transport from that fight. Syria has 13k troops now. He's doing a good job. And we can integrate him in... 58. Question is, do we want to try to get some more distant overseas expansion in first? I don't know that we're going to get a claim down here for free, but we could just fabricate on Hejaz. Hejaz is allied with Najd and the Mamluks, so we fabricate on <laughs> Hejaz and we attack the Mamluks again. Separate piece of them, they give you more land. What happened to my... Oh my god, it pulled my navy off. It tried to use the whole navy. Well, that's not at all what I meant to do. Yeah. 
thought it was just going to use the one ship. Or the one, yeah, the one group. Keep those navies there for now. I'm amazed at how long these guys have gone without actually rebelling. Lost uh, the good general, rats. Well, we have room for more generals. I don't really want to pay for them, though. So we'll probably just wait till we can hire another one from, from this thing. How are we doing on tradition? 37 point, 34.7. Grant a general in 60, 50, 59. Four years. Regency in Hungary. Might be seeing Austria get that union soon. Okay, 21% chance here. Come on. Genoese Circassia. Really sizable peasant rebellion there. Not my problem. We'll leave those for the Mamluks to deal with. Getting very close to this cap. I'm kind of concerned. The siege takes much much longer. Uh, yeah, I think we want to continue to take the uh, the piety, at least for now. And then might be a good time to soon swing to negative piety land for the tech cost reduction, the manpower, and the money. So good. I love the piety system in this game. It's pretty much, I think, one of the best religious implementations that there is. Okay. All right. You give me everything that you have. Good. Good. Take this land over here. We pay Diplo points for it, we don't really care. Coring cost is minimal. War exhaustion is probably... Well... I could spend 75 Diplo, or... I'm paying 5.7% of the total amount of coring cost that we have. So let's just add this... Well, the total amount of the base coring cost. Well, part of the issue is that because it's not connected to our capital, we can only core them one at a time. It's fine, I think. Alright, so I think we cancel our mission. We do lose those claims. Whatever. I mean, we started a core at reduced cost. we certainly do pay less to core this way. Or... Words. We pay less. How is this going to cost me Diplo points? I'm confused. Oh, I cancelled the mission. I lost the claim on Cyprus as well. Crap. Whatever. That was a mistake. Could have just saved ourselves 10% of 150. Whatever. Kara, Austria, Hungary. So Hungary stopped being a valid rival, or what? Did they, like, break free from the Union? Confused. Oh, it's because they rivaled me back. I think they stopped being valid. Let's rival the Timurids. Got an extra missionary from conquering Jerusalem. Looks like we're going to take our tech. And uh, this this province here, I think we just want to raise autonomy in. I don't think we ever want to deal with this province. Let's give this one away to the... Uh, probably to one of the guys that's going to give us better conversion strength. Give it to the clergy. Golden Horde wants us to fight against somebody. Well, we could give up the... Defender of the Faith now. Do we want to get it involved with a war up there? I mean, military access is a little bit difficult. I could definitely get military access through Crimea. He's obviously too large to become subject. He's got subjects of his own, apparently. Vassalized an Orthodox country. 
Trevizond would become vassal. No coarser claims. Economic base, distance between borders. No, I don't think that's going to happen. The knights would actually accept. But we could very easily... We could very easily see a claim, like a mission, come up for that. Um, I think we don't. We just get rid of the being a defender of the faith, that's fine. Would have been nice to have gotten that right before taking the tech, but we'll get it for this one. Sorry, Golden Horde. Hey, they finally fired. And since they've fired, I think we'll lower autonomy now. We'll just let that continue to be a problem area. Okay, so we still have autonomy here. Some of these provinces are pretty much all controlled by estates. That one being in control by the merchant guilds doesn't make much sense. Hood of Indigar, on the other hand, makes sense. So can we revoke this? Increase their loyalty to 37.7%. Can't really revoke their territory right this second. Unless... Why don't we give them Kanik? Being an extra 50% trade power on that province makes some more sense. Let's give them this. And then let's see if we can still... Ah, it's 39.5. We'll revoke it for now. I'll be pissed for five months. But I feel like unless the province has... Like, really good estuaries and stuff, I don't want them to be... In control of territory. Yeah, two estates that are pissed off, not by a very large amount. Ooh, Dimmy is actually positive tech cost right now as well. Whoops. We could get, potentially it looks like a 10% reduction in tech cost. If we get their influence high. The growth of cities attract serfs. The bays gain loyalty. Or we can make them lose loyalty. Sure. How do they gain the loyalty? Take the manpower. And then... Okay, so what can we do that increases your influence? So, promote Dimmy Nobles. Lose loyalty from everyone else. Like, can we give, like... This is overseas, so we can't give it to anyone. It's not in Muslim religion groups. So anyone that's not our religion, we could convert. Okay, so I'm assuming that, like, if I convert the province that a Dimi is in... Oh no, okay, so controlled by Dimi just automatically floors it down to zero. Gotcha. That's cool. I mean, if we went tolerance, went for humanist ideas or something, we could eat very easily. Why are you not going to war, John Mayan? You're supposed to be the ultimate enemy. I want you to go to war. It's stronger. It'd be no fun to just start next to them, right? Because they'd just kill me. So what's the point in doing that? And like, unless I'm strong and they're strong, so... He is really trying to stick to this alliance, isn't he? Mm, he's allied to Crimea and Hassa. I 
We don't reach Crimea. July. Let's just wait till July. We'll see what our mission gives us. Let's at least wait until the estate is no longer disloyal. We can wait six months on military tech. Okay, onwards to Athens. Um, I think we fabricate on Hejaz. Let's go for the coast. And other than that... We could try to get into Genoa, but that would get us to war with the Emperor. Not that we're scared of the Emperor. It's just that it's it's not a very opportunistic war, you know? Like, you have to pay extra for that. Incorporate Syria, conquer Egypt. See, that's what we want. We get claims on everything else that the Mamluks own. The problem is we have such a huge truce with them, but... He's all the Hejaz, so we could do it again. I don't wait till 70. That's, that's too long. He's allied to Hejaz, and he's allied to Tlemcen. So... He's allied to Morocco. Yeah, I think we do this. Claims on all this stuff. We missed out on Gaza. Unrest is pretty manageable. We have land that we can core, but we need to wait for the cores to finish. So as soon as we get our claim on Hejaz, then we just attack, we separate piece of the Mamluks again, take all of their territory. And then eventually we do integrate Syria to unite our territory. I'm not gonna do that. Are they loyal yet? One more month. Okay, moving up in the world. Ardalan separatists are giving him some hard time. And then I'm still looking for a creative way that we can break this alliance. Well, I think we just dissolve it. We just go for the truce. It's a five-year truce. It's not a big deal. Damn, we got caught at 54%, despite our spy offense guy, too. If only we'd gotten a free claim on Hejaz from that mission. Ottoman peasants are a little bit upset and canic. Park an army up there for now to deal with that issue. And then other than that, how is John Mayan doing? He's not attacking anyone! What the hell, John Mayan? This is just downright disappointing. I really was expecting more from you, John Mayan. You have high autonomy, despite the fact that you've got 100,000 troops with 922,000 manpower, and a massive treasury of 2,000 ducats with 55 ducats a month in income. Why don't you just attack everyone? You dummy. Right, well, we'll see. I don't know. Maybe this is a bad idea for a campaign. I thought it would be more fun than it has been so far. They were supposed to be doing more. But uh, for now, I guess I'm going to take a break here.
I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.